Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. So, today's video, I want to use this die from Your Next Die. Um, it's the pull tab, and it's the smaller one of the two that I got. And I was just showing you there how it works. To, um, it pulls apart. And this particular paper I'm using is a little bit thicker, so it did kind of pull apart, but it's meant to pull apart and be thrown into the trash. So I didn't care that it kind of tore. So right now what we're gonna do is I was laying out on my paper kind of how I want my ribbon to go or my lace and then where I want the stamp so I, I knew where to place the die. And we're just gonna roll it through the color, cuddle bug. The first time I did it, I only ran it through once. I did it off camera. So that's why I ran it forward and then ran it back. So we're just gonna put that to the side. And then what I did was, is I cut a sheet, like um, that particular piece I just used, I cut to four by five and a quarter. And so I cut a smaller sheet that's like three and a half by four. And all I'm doing is making sure that it lines up. And I'm taking my pencil and I'm making a little mark on the right side where the tab is, where that opening. And then I'm just sliding it a little bit and making two marks where the pull parts are. And the reason why I'm doing that is so I have an idea of where that opening is so that way I can put the sentiment on the inside. So we're just going to stamp down. I'm just trying to use my grid mat to line it up so that way I get it as straight as possible. And right there I just put in uh, so happy for you. And then on the tab part I'm just going to put pull tab. And they have all different kind of sentiments in the stamp sets. These are just the two that I picked because this is going to be a congratulations card. So once I get it lined up, I'm going to continue to work on our focal piece, which I'm using the happy stamp from Concord and Ninth. Um, I'm using the flower that's in the stamp set. The last time I used it, I want to say I just inked it with black, but this time I want to do uh, embossing with it. So I'm just laying down my paper and making sure I have the flower exactly where I want it. And I'm going to treat my fabric with the fabric. What am I doing? I'm going to treat my paper with the anti-static uh, from EK Success. And I got the Versamark ink right there. We're going to ink up the flower. And because this is a solid, like, it's meant to be a, a solid stamp. It's not outlined. It's very, um, when I did it with the black, I think I had to stamp it like two or three times. So with using the Misty, it allows me to do the uh, multiple stamping without being off center it lines up perfectly and I was able to get a really nice coverage with the Versamark so we're going to heat emboss this with the Nouveau and this is the gold enchantment embossing powder and once I just I had it go over it once I did it one more time just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I just did that right over top of this. Um, it's a thin piece of vellum. And then just put it right back into the container. And then we're going to heat this up. I just, um, you know, grab the heat tool and make sure you turn it on, let it heat up a little bit before you apply it to the paper. Um, and by doing so, it minimized the, more, the uh, warping of this paper. And I really wasn't that worried about it because I do plan on using the foam tape underneath. But, you know, you just want to be mindful because the warping can mess up, you know, when you go to attach it to your card. So once we have that, I'm still looking at where I'm placing my lace. And I decided to go ahead and grab the congratulations I wanted to use, which was in the, I think it's the sentiments, the part two or the 
tear away sentiment to uh, stamp set. So once I make sure I have enough room, I'm going to stamp the congratulations first and then I'm going to attach the lace. So pick that up, grab the Versafine Black Onyx, and I'm just um, treating my paper one more time because I do want to put the clear embossing powder over top of the congratulations. And with this one, I probably could have put this in the Misty and stamped it twice, but it's okay. I just wanted to get that down. We're going to put a little bit of the clear and just funnel it right back into the container. A little bit fell out, but you get a lot of powder in these, so I'm just going to kind of blow it away and keep it moving. Heat up the sentiment and be done. All right. So once we have that done, I'm just going to close it up because you don't want to spill your embossing powder. Just wipe off any of the extra powder and then we're going to go ahead and lay down our lace. And once again, I'm going to try and use the uh, grid mat underneath so that way I'm making sure I'm lining everything up. And since this was my last piece, I'm just taping it all around the back. And then the top piece is going to go over top of that part where I stamped so happy for you. So I'm just grabbing my foam tape and I'm going to put foam all the way up this particular uh, image all the way to the top. And then we're going to attach it to our sentiment page that's going to be hidden behind the pull tab. So it's going to make it a fun interactive card. And what's really great is really you can fit any sentiment in there that you want, you know. So now that I did um, the foam tape, I realized that to lay it down I'm probably going to have to do foam tape again, which meant doubling up where it was uh, just the one strip of foam tape because once I put it on the side where the sentiment that hidden sentiment was um, it was going to make it thicker so once I get all that off I'm just trimming down some of the tape that was uh, really close to the edge and then we're going to take the backing off and get this laid down So just using the ATG gun, we're going to tape down um, some pattern paper and mind you this pattern paper you're not going to see a whole lot of it and really I probably could have used like a square um, die cut or something cut out the center so that way I wasn't wasting paper but I, I don't have a whole lot of this one. I have the, um, it's from actually, let me get the name of it real quick. Okay, it's from Oh My Heart, it's Pink Paisley, and I want to say this was in our April add-on kit. So I just grabbed one of the papers from there. Um, let me see. Yeah, you get 36 sheets, and it doesn't say anything about having two of each, but most likely there's probably another one. So once I get it attached, the uh, focal piece, once I get the phone tape off and attach it to the front here, um, all I'm doing now is adding some flat uh, enamel dots. These are the ones, they actually came with, I want to say it was the Meow Collection from Echo Park or um, Doodlebug. Oh, let me see. Yeah, it's Doodlebug. Um, they're the matte sprinkles and it's from the cat assortment. But these uh, flat backs are so awesome. I love enamel dots. They're, you really can't go wrong with them. If you wanted to make sure they were super strong, you could um, take some of the art glitter glue and just put a little dot behind them and then it'll definitely you know, stay nice and strong. And then I'm just showing you close up the pull tab that I did before as my tester and just showing you how it will work. 
since I can't show you on this one because I plan on giving this to somebody. So you're just going to write on the inside your whatever your sentiment is and it, the card is light enough that I can just write right on it. Um, so it, this was fun. It was interesting and in playing with it and trying to figure out how to line everything up. What I love about dies and stamps is you can just play. It works. If you mess up, try again. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I love most about crafting. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And I will see you with our next video, which will be this Friday, a sketch video. And at the end, there will be three other um, Technique Tuesday videos for you guys to click on in case you've missed anything. Thanks again and have a great day.